another Rarity and AJ episode. I know I may catch some flack for this, but yeah, I haven't liked any of their past episodes that have starred them, at least not enough to give them green flags. Heck, even in my review of Applejack's Day Off, I had the feeling that we never get an episode with these two as the main characters that I could call a green flag episode. Well, Season 7 has surprised me with a slice of life episodes for the less major characters, so will Honest Apple make me eat my words, or will my indifference to Rarity and Applejack episodes continue? Fashion is ridiculous! <gasps> yeah, a racing jacket and a hat is all I need. Though, in all practicality, she's not entirely wrong. In a world where the majority of ponies are literally naked, including the four princesses, fashion is kind of an oxymoron. You're the freaking bad mate. Oh, I'm sorry, but you actually bite into those tasteless, mealy, worm-filled things. Oh. Uh, I'd be careful what you say there, Strawberry. Hey, get out of here! Hey! <laughs> well, I like the concept of Applejack being plucked out of her comfort zone by Rarity asking her to be a judge for a fashion show, not only because this gives us an opportunity for a character to be flushed out more, but because it changes up the usual formula of the two having to put up with each other. Rarity needed help for her legitimate cause of trying to promote smaller fashion designers, and even though she was wary at first, Applejack was willing to help her, so it was a refreshing change of pace for the two. And I really enjoyed how they never really had a problem with one another until the actual conflict of the episode popped up near the end. Apart from the turn of events for a Rarity and Applejack episode, the story in of itself isn't that special, nor something to write home about. It's a very simple one, just like Fluttershy leans in or Flurry of Emotions, but it's the conflict and subsequent moral, however, that grabbed my attention. While AJ was willing to help Rarity, Hoity, and Photo finish, her critiques boiled down from being honest little quips to nothing more than her basically saying wrong and fixing the outfits to her liking. I wouldn't say it went to her head, but she did end up taking it so seriously that she forgot the point of being a judge or a critic. When you critique something, yes, you have to be honest and not say what the creator wants to hear, but at the same time, you have to be not only constructive to actually help the creator improve, but also show respect for them and their craft. If all you do is say wrong or this sucks without any explanation to follow up, you're not only being a self-righteous asshole, but you're not actually being helpful. And I'm glad AJ learned from Rarity and Strawberry Sunrise that she was perfectly fine to have an opinion, but she wasn't showing respect to any of the dress designers. There are times when being blunt and extremely critical are necessary, like critiquing something as horrendous as Food Fighter where the dead go to die. But you must always have respect for someone's hard work by having constructive feedback so they know what to work on for next time. This goes both ways though. Hoity and Photo Finish throughout the episode were really only praising the creations of the new designers. Naturally, giving someone positive feedback like this is nice, but they weren't really critiquing or judging the products. And yes, they are experts at fashion, I understand that. But at the same time, they shouldn't be afraid to explain what makes the outfits... Simply stunning! I mean, it's like if I only did 10 second videos and said this episode was good or this episode was bad and ending it there. That would be pretty useless, no matter if I liked an episode or not. The best part, however, is at the end of the episode where AJ helped save the fashion show, and Hoity and Photo Finish began to give out actual feedback about what they liked instead of just singular praises. I'm not exactly sure if they learned to dish out real feedback or if they were just saving it for the actual show, but either way, it illustrates that there's a middle ground of being harsh yet respectful, nice yet critical, and above all, honest when it comes to judging something. I'll even show an example of that. While I was glad that AJ learned to be more respectful in her opinions, the ending was a total cop-out. Here, she has the perfect chance to put her lesson into action by choosing a winner, and everyone just decides that all three should be the winner for their hard work. I'm sorry, but that has nothing to do with her lesson. Just because they all put in hard work shouldn't be a determining factor. By that logic, all 40 drivers should win every NASCAR race for their and their team's hard work they put in week in and week out. What would have worked better is if the winner still got the grand prize of having their line be featured in Carousel Boutique, but then have second place be featured at Canterlot Boutique and third place at Manhattan Boutique. That way you still have a grand winner, but second and third place still get rewarded, just in a smaller yet deserving way. Having everyone win is just as bad as not keeping score for sporting events. Unfortunately though, I'm really sorry guys, but that's all I have to say about Honest Apple. I love the moral and it's one of my favorites in the show. I'd like to change up for the Rarity and AJ plot formula, and I hated the ending. But literally nothing else interesting happened in the episode to me. The story went so far with its simplicity that it's really forgettable. 
I didn't care much for the fashion designers. There were very few jokes with only one being funny and there's no real payoff for the moral with the cop out ending. There's no meat in it and it feels like they put all their effort into the lesson itself and forgetting the rest of the story. If the writers want to go for a simple story, fine, it's worked for them in the past like with Saddle Row Review, but at least bring more than one or two jokes to the table so the episode's at least funny. Yeah, it's frustrating having little to talk about, but at least the episode didn't infuriate me. I still dislike the ending, but not enough for me to hate the episode. I'm gonna have to go with the Yellow Flag episode for the second week in a row. Hopefully next week will return us back to form. But what did you think of Honest Apple? Please post your thoughts down in the comments below and thank you for watching. I'm Mr. Left Turn, I'll see you when I get back from the track.